Okay, I have finished this Chuck Pinson jigsaw puzzle and I thought I should talk about it on this channel. Now, the first thing I want to tell you is this took a period of three days. I started this Thursday night, then I worked on it for a few hours, went to bed, repeated that on Friday. Today I really slept in, so I didn't get started on this again until this afternoon and now I am finished about 8.30 p.m. Why did a puzzle take parts of three days for me to finish a 1,000 piece puzzle? And by the way, 1,000 piece puzzles are my average puzzle size. So, why did it take so long? Well, it looks pretty tight now. Well, no, I just have to adjust that after moving that. But can you? I hope you can see what I'm doing here. I just moved it a little bit to test the tightness because of what I'm about to say and now I've got to readjust some pieces. The first one of the problems I had with this diamond with this jigsaw puzzle is that it was so loose that if I only say had two pieces done here and then I spotted a piece and I went to put it on those two pieces, I would mess up and have to repair those two pieces and then add that third piece and the other part of the and that's because of how loose it was but the other part of it is as beautiful as this picture is and this is a chuck pinson jigsaw puzzle and i currently believe i have four of his diamond paintings hanging in my home and i'm currently working on one and in addition to that, I have two that I've completed that are rolled up that I haven't framed yet. So I love Chuck Pinson. I love his stuff. And this was a beautiful scene when I looked at it. However, it's muted or it's, it's blurred. Each piece is blurry. And sometimes the piece size doesn't look like it works. And I have to wait until I exhaust a bunch of pieces to realize, wait a minute, that's a false fit. That's a false, uh, not just color, but the whole dimension of the piece or the whole in look of the piece just doesn't look like it's going to fit. Okay. So then you have like, which is nothing is unusual about what I'm about to say, but we have the uh, orange in several places in the puzzle. But because of the way the pieces were cut and the blurriness of it and the false fits, it was super hard to complete each section. The other thing I wanted to say is I posted this on a, maybe three Facebook groups and every single person that has worked this puzzle said it was the most challenging puzzle they did. Or well, at least one of the most challenging puzzles. And one person said she's been working on it for about a month and she has not yet finished it. So I, I second that it is a difficult puzzle to accomplish. Now, what about the joy that comes from jigsaw puzzling? Did I find joy in this Chuck Pinson diamond paint? Uh, <laughs> I keep wanting to call it a diamond painting, but it's a jigsaw puzzle. So let's take a look at the box really quickly. It is called Alpine Serenity. So I don't know if this particular one is a diamond painting, but what appealed to me beyond the picture itself is this right here. There are eight hidden images. And with you, you really do have to look at this puzzle as it's complete to even have an idea what those hidden images are. Because when you're picking up the pieces, you don't know that you're picking up a piece of a duck. And you only know that you are picking up the pictures of the deer because the texture is just a wee bit different from the brown in the house. But if you look really closely, the browns are very similar. So I'm not going to try to even find these hidden images while I'm making this video. I'm just bringing the light over a little closer just to see if I can spot any. I mean, maybe that's a fish. That could be one. Uh, there's a man fishing, but I don't think that's a hidden image. It looks like there's a blue lizard or something there. So I'm not quite sure what the hidden images are. So if you've done this puzzle, let me know in the comments, um, if you have found them 
Will I do another Chuck Pinson and Jigsaw puzzle? Well, I do have two more in my stash. I have Inspirations of Spring. It, well, this says Inspiration of Spring, but I also have it as a diamond painting, and the diamond painting is called Inspiration of Spring Meadow. Yes, this has hidden images, but I bought this one. I bought because the uh, diamond painting had temporarily went out of stock. Well, since I bought this puzzle, it came back in stock and I bought it. This is going to be a difficult jigsaw puzzle, I am sure. I also bought, I have this one and I, I'm pretty sure I have one more. I just have to find it. This is called Island Time. Now, I've had this for a couple of years. This one might be a little bit easier. I don't know, but only time will tell when I'm ready to do it. So what I'm going to do is shut the camera off and take a peek to see if, I, if I'm correct that I do have one more Chuck Pinson jigsaw puzzle. So let me do that really quickly. Okay, as I was talking in the previous clip which of course by the time i edit it you won't really know that i've separated it but when i was looking at i know i bought two chuck pinson jigsaw puzzles this year but when i was looking at island time when i was talking to you guys about it i knew that i've had this for a minute this is the newest chuck pinson that i bought it's called sea garden cottage now if if i can line up all three of these hopefully I can if we're talking about ease of puzzling this would be the easiest because I love sky a lot of people don't but if I were to rank these three from easiest to most difficult I would say the cottage is easy is number one the next in difficulty would be this one which is island time and the third in difficulty would be inspirations of spring does it mean that since I struggled with this puzzle here, this Alpine Serenity for a couple of days, that I'm going to shy away from difficult puzzles? Absolutely not. I will always work on challenging puzzles. Space is my problem, so I'm going to stay in a 1,000 to 1,500 piece range puzzles. There is a 3,000 piece puzzle that I want, and I did see a video that shows how it can easily be broken up into four 750 piece sections. So when I work on that puzzle, I will probably work on foam board and try to assemble it that way. But for the most part, 1,000 piece puzzles is where it's at for me. Now, what you see this puzzle on here is a bits and pieces puzzle board that swivels and it angles and I'm telling you using this puzzle board while working on this jigsaw puzzle was a real boon it really really was it allowed me to work any side right left upper or you know bottom top right or left or even at an angle if I just wanted to work on this angle or that angle or that one or that one this board swivels so easily, it raises, I, I just, I can't say enough about it. I'm not going to do a real review on it because I, the, I'm sure experienced puzzlers have their puzzling station set the way that they want it, but for me, this really works for me. Now, I did think about uh, halfway through of doing a cat puzzle on a different surface to give myself a break from this, but then I thought, no, I'm going to work it out. So what I did about an hour ago is I separated the pieces. No, an hour ago, I put all of the pieces on the board. And then 10 or 15 minutes later, I sorted those pieces out by color. I mean, by shape. And then once I sorted them out by shape, it took maybe 15 minutes to, to put in about 150, 200 pieces. Now, why didn't I sort them by shape to begin with? Because... There was no matching texture to this puzzle and even size. And I want to see if I can find that spot. I'm going to actually take my camera off of the boom arm to show you this part. So I'll try not to shake too much, but I am holding it in my hand. But there is a piece right here that is not the, the piece next to it does not fit in the grid. It overlaps. And that's really strange for a standard 
cut puzzle. So because my pieces, for the most part, as you can see, are all standard cut, you have those odd pieces where it's longer than the piece that it attaches to. So the whole time I was looking for this particular piece, which was probably 80% of the time I was into doing this puzzle, I could not find this piece because I was trying to find a piece that ended, you know, in that, in that line. And then finally, when I was getting close to the end, I'm like, let's just try this piece. And it, and it worked. But it is done. It's a beautiful puzzle. Sorry, my finger was in the camera. It, it is a beautiful puzzle. And I'm just going to pan my camera over it. So, of course, the camera's moving because I wanted to pair. There's five deer, a uh, six deer. There's four on this side, and there's two on that side. They were very pretty much easy to do once I delineated what was deer and what was cabin. Because, like I said, this part of the, the interior part of the, the, the inside of the exterior porch roof was the same texture as the backs of the deer. But because the deers have some cream and some yellow, I was able to sort that out. And then when I was doing the sky, I had these extra pieces right here. And, and I did look back at my poster and I realized, oh, don't worry that you can't fit those pieces of the sky because they're going to come up later in the puzzle. So I learned, I, I was able to sort that out. And I, I guess that's about it. Um, I think one thing I've learned while working on this jigsaw puzzle is that I have to puzzle for the pleasure of puzzling and time cannot be a factor because if I try to make time a factor while working on a jigsaw puzzle, then I'm going to get discouraged. Now I can do a, in a jigsaw puzzle if I set my timer in about between five and a half to seven hours or 1000 piece puzzle. So if I was trying to shoot for that time, it would, it would have been very disappointing. So I'm not in it for any type of accolades. I'm just in it because it's a joy. And that's why I'm not too hesitant to try those other Chuck Pinson jigsaw puzzles. Now, will I do it tomorrow or next week? No, I'm going to wait a while. I'm going to do some other puzzles that are on my mind, like my Schmidt puzzle, a couple of cat puzzles I want to do. Um, I have a Bergramian puzzle that I really want to do. So I've got a lot of other puzzles that I can work on, and that's what I'm going to to, to concentrate on. And then when I choose my next uh, Chuck Pinson, maybe I'll choose the uh, more difficult one. I'll start with Inspirations of Spring. But who knows? But I just wanted to tell you the difficulties that I have with this one. And I am going to put this camera back on the boom arm and disassemble this puzzle after I take some pictures.